out in the sun. Whee! All right, guys. Today is the first day of snowfall in here in Minnesota. Um, I'm not. Uh, my skills are going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit sloppy in uh, driving. Uh, exactly, just because of that. How long did she stop either? No, I, I could. I couldn't stop. So. There's probably going to be mistakes made because I've only been like 10, 15 minutes out on the road and this is the very first snowfall. So I'm just, I'm just trying to get used to the, uh, the snow and all that and, uh, how to, how to operate the vehicle, but still have fun at the same time. So I think I'm going to continue on this series. I actually got some good feedback from you guys saying that you guys actually thoroughly enjoy this. This, uh, this vlog stuff that I'm doing. So, here we go. Come on, come on. Hell. Woohoo! Let go of the steering wheel. I guess we could just do a little bit of run around on how to uh, drive in the snow and stuff like that. And the differences between an automatic and a manual. Um, I don't know, my personal preference is, is that when it comes to wintertime and snow like this, a manual and front wheel drive is very preferable in my mind because you get to choose what gear you get to be in and also too, when it comes to a situation, you can always, you can always put your car into a, into a neutral position so you're not constantly throwing power to your, uh, to your wheels. and. A front wheel drive vehicle is going to do better than a rear wheel drive because you're going to you're going to pull yourself through the snow versus pushing your the back end is going to push your car through the snow and you're going to create kind of like this hump in the front front of your wheels basically. So your front wheels act like skis or a rear wheel drive vehicle as of a front. Oh, the big five oh! What what he's doing? Chilling. It's not like I'm gonna speed. He'd be lucky if I could hit over 55. Anyways, uh, and, you know the advantage of uh, this vehicle here is, uh, you know, of course I have it. I have all-wheel drive option. And I also have the two-wheel option. But usually when it snows like this, the first snowfall and it gets really slushy and stuff like that, I'll have it on. Um, I'll have it on all-wheel drive, and then when I really want to have some fun. I'll throw it into four-wheel drive, lock low, and then I'll take the uh, stability control off. So you can really get some fun out of that. So that's just my little two cents on it. I'd go a little bit deeper, but I don't want to create a, uh, you know, a 20, 20, 30 minute log because that can go on forever. And of course you're going to get people like this today, you know, we're only going 30 miles an hour and a 55. You know, I kind of don't blame them. You know, you could get mad and all that, but you know, it's the first snowfall and you know, you gotta get used to the the winter driving and all that. Yeah, it should be fun this year. Yay. Oh yeah. There probably won't be so much of having fun today because I'm kind of on a mission for food. Uh -huh. And uh, going places. So there's, and there's not very many places to, um, as of right now, to kind of uh, have some fun basically. So I can't go out and just drift around, but. Maybe we can get some ice on these uh, lakes and stuff like that. I'll definitely have some fun out there, but it's just it just won't happen today in this vlog. So I'm gonna try and post uh, videos every Thursday, the cage of vlogging, and I'll do my regular regular moto vlogging on Sunday. Yeah, I'm gonna try and shoot for that schedule. Just kind of make it more um, more often, you know, depending on the weather and stuff like that, or whatever out the line. Yeah. So I'm gonna catch you guys later on the next uh, cage of vlog episode. And um, I'm just gonna go putz around in the snow. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys. Bye. -bye.